everybody. Diamonds by Tita here. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me because I have another whip and chat, squirrel thoughts, life updates, random stuff, just all kinds of stuff that I'm going to be doing. And um, I just wanted um, just to invite you in and just uh, grab whatever you're working on because WIP does stand for work in progress. And um, so grab your favorite rip, WIP or maybe you're just listening and you're maybe cleaning the kitchen. I do that often uh, when I'm listening to videos. Um, I'm cleaning or doing laundry or stuff like that. So welcome in. Hope you like the content. Um, my whip and chats tend to be sometimes all over the place with random stuff and my squirrel thoughts. And people ask me all the time, Tita, what's a squirrel thought? I don't understand. Squirrel thought is just exactly kind of that, how it just flits from one thing to another. It's this random thought that pops into my head. Maybe it doesn't even go with what I've been talking about. So, um, yeah, sometimes I just kind of go all over the place. So I hope you kind of like that. Um, that's kind of how I roll anyway. So what I'm doing, um, first of all, I hope you guys got to see my video of my completion of Diamond Art Club War Pony. He turned out stunning, 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 stunning. I love him so much. And I know my sister is going to love him. I can't wait to show it to her in person. Um, and I'm going to get them framed and I'll show you guys the framing of that. Um, you know, when he comes back, probably in a week or two, um, I found, um, an independent framing shop here in town that is actually much cheaper than Michael's or Hobby Lobby, um, you know, any of the, the, the big box framing stores. And, um, he's yeah, he's got, I mean, zillions of frames in there. It's absolutely incredible. Okay, so I guess I should start. Um, oh, you know what? I don't have a tray. Hang on a second. I can't diamond paint without a tray. Holy smokes. What am I doing? Oh my gosh, and I'm dropping, I'm dropping all kinds of stuff. Hang on a second. I need to get a tray. Okay, now I got a tray. Now I'm ready. Got a tray. I got my favorite, one of my favorite pens. This is one that my son gave me and I love it because it's purple. Um, okay, so let me tell you about the painting I'm doing. Okay, this is, hang on a second. This is a Diamond Dots and I gotta bring this in so that you can see it. Hang on a second, it needs to focus. Come on over here and focus. There we go. So um, this is called, what is it called? Hang on a second. Seaside Dawn is what it's called. And it's a Diamond Dots. And the design size is a 36 by 27. I did an unboxing on it, so you guys have seen it already. Um, and it has 33 colors and 11,844 drills. So it's a little one. And what I wanted to do is, um, uh, Lazy Retired Granny and I, we love landscapes, seascapes, and that's kind of our thing. We, we both love them. And we both ended up purchase, purchasing the same Diamond Dots painting. And if you remember, I did a um, the landscape with a little house and kind of the pink trees and everything. We did that together. And we decided that we were going to do this one. And we're going to do it for my Facebook group, uh, Blissful in Blue. That's um, for our month of April. So this is my Blissful in Blue project, or one of them. And, um, you know, I want to invite you to participate in Blissful and Blue, and it can be any project that has blue in it. Although we wanted to invite you, if you happen to have um, a Diamond Dots, if you happen to have this painting or a landscape or a seascape, um, come join us and you can paint along with us. 
Okay, so I'm doing a lot of talking and absolutely no diamond painting. Oops, that one fell off. Okay, so let's go ahead and start, okay? Let me get, what color do I wanna do? I think I'm gonna be doing, hang on a second. I wanna be doing, oh, I, I always hate to paint by numbers. Let me tell you, it's always hard to do that for me, but I'm doing it. Okay, it's 13. It is this color here. I love Diamond Dots drills. They are um, really shiny. Um, there usually isn't much trash in it. So this is like a really, really uh, deep, deep gray is what this one is. So I will bring you on in here. Okay, we'll bring you on in and we'll go ahead and just go ahead and just start. Now I um I tend to single place a lot on the whipping chats just because like you know I always tell you I can't chew bubble gum and walk at the same time. So I will be probably single placing for the most part here, even though I do multi-place um, when I'm not on camera. Um, okay, so let's talk about some life updates. Um, my beautiful, beautiful loved one that is battling breast cancer that you guys have all been um, praying for. And um, let me move over just a little bit. Hang on. I'm kind of getting out of the camera range. Hold on. I need to move this. Just one second here. There we go. So my beautiful family member, you know, she had um, the lumpectomy done and she found out that they didn't get all of it and they went in and they did a second surgery. Well, she got the results of that and um, they, the margins still are not clear. They're still showing cancer on that. Um, she also found out she was waiting for a particular test. I can't remember what it's called, um, but it's basically determining if she needs to have chemo or not, and she does. She needs to have chemo. Um, so she will have chemo and radiation. I think it's six weeks of radiation, and I can't remember how long for the chemo. Um, they had to put in, I think it went in today, did it go in today or yesterday? I can't remember. Um, the port where they administer the chemo, and that's up kind of a, by her um, collarbone. It's way up high near her shoulder. Um, so they're going to administer it that way. Um, and then I think, I, I don't know positively, but I believe she was talking about um, having a mastectomy. So I don't know if that is um, just the one side or if it's going to be bilateral. I don't, I don't know anything yet. So please continue to keep her um, in your prayers because this has been a really, really um, hard ordeal. Um, I think the only one good news that we did get um, is the type of chemo that she's going to have. Um, it's not the super, super strong one. I'm having a sip of my coffee and then I'm going to tell you about it. Um, it it's, not, it's not the super mild one, but I'm glad that it is not. Uh, it's not the really, really strong one. So... So that is that with her. So please continue to pray for her. Um, please continue to you know keep her in your thoughts, send positive thoughts, positive vibes. If you don't pray, um, that would be absolutely amazing. And um, so that takes care of that. Now, my sister 
you know, she asked for prayer from you guys as well um, because they did find something on her mammogram. And she went in this week to have um, you know, additional testing. And they do see something there. And again, I, I don't know quite all of the details, um, but what the doctor wanted to do was to wait and repeat everything in six months. Um, I don't know, for me, that would be really hard. I don't know if I could sit still for six months, especially with everything that's going on, you know, with our with our, our loved one, you know, walking through cancer treatment. So we have probably like the best um, family doctor ever. All of us go and see her. And she knows Bev well. She knows all of us. And, um, you know, she told her, she says, you know, with what's going on, you know, with your loved one, you know, and all the anxiety from this, you know, let's just schedule a biopsy to determine, you know, exactly what it is, even though it may not be anything and, you know, you may not have to have a biopsy, um, but, you know, let's, let's go ahead and schedule it. So she's going to end up um, having a biopsy. I don't know if there's any other testing that they're going to do, but uh, from what I understand right now, that's what it is. I don't know when that's going to be. Um, that'll be sometime um, coming up in the in the near future. So I'll keep you guys posted so that you can continue to pray for that. Pray for her healing and continue to pray for our our other loved one that um, you know that the Lord heals her as well because he is our great physician. Okay, so that is that is that life update. So I think I'll talk about something um, a little bit less heavy. Um, because I'm having a hard time dealing with all of that as well. Um, I'm drinking my coffee. Oh man, that is like, I gotta back you out. That's like, whoa, let's back you out a little bit, okay? Let's go to my, my cup of coffee here. Um, and it is so yummy. Let me show you what I got. I love this stuff so much. I just got it. Um, it is... The Mac Cafe, if I can get it in there, Toffee Almond. Oh my gosh, is it so yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy. It is delicious. I love it. Um, and I know you can get it probably all over the place. Um, I don't know if Walmart has it, but I think, you know, Keurig has it. Um but I love the McDonald's coffee, um, partially because I don't like really, really strong coffee. Um, I like um, more of a breakfast blend type. Um, but this one actually is so delicious. And I got this one, though. I don't know if you ever have been to this website. It's called Woot. W-O-O-T. Um, it's actually right now, it's owned by Amazon, but back in the day when it started out, I think it was about 20 years ago now, uh, Woot sold one item a day, just, just one, and um, it was always at a really, really heavily discounted price, and you never knew what you were going to get. Something for the house, it could be a toy, you never knew what, what Woot was going to sell. Um, and then, uh, I don't know how many years ago it did sell out to Amazon. So you can purchase stuff with, if you have your, an, an Amazon credit card, or you can actually log in with your Amazon account. Um, I love Woot. Now they've totally expanded. It is not just one item anymore. They have many categories. You know, they have household, they have clothing, um, they have, um, you know, like, um, tools and, you know, things like that, personal items. Um, but that's where I found my coffee. 
So that's where I found that. Um, and it's delicious. Because you know I like my coffee. I like it a lot. Okay, now, and I know I'm gonna miss these. I always, always miss them, no matter how hard I look. And you're probably looking at them going, you're missing it, you're missing it. Yep, see, right, right there, those two. I think this painting is gonna go pretty quick. And actually, you know, I thought it was a really, really dark gray, but maybe it's a really, really dark purpley blue. You know what, I need a DMC code list so I can look up and tell you guys exactly what it is, but I don't have one of those. I think, I think that's all of it. Okay, so there's that. Um, boy, 16 minutes and just talking about a couple things. Um, let's see what else. Uh, the night before last, I went and had Panda Express. Do you guys like Panda Express? Or do you even have Panda Express where you're at? It's kind of like um, Chinese fast food, kind of. I like it. It's pretty good. So I went and had that, and then I had leftovers. And I actually ended up eating it for breakfast this morning. Let me show you this color. Isn't it pretty? It's a deep blue. And I'm doing number sevens. So yeah, I got a dinner from Panda Express. I had their um, orange chicken and I had beef and broccoli. And then I had half chow mein and half rice. And the dinners are so big, I get two meals out of it. I also love their spring rolls. Their spring rolls are really good. I had spring rolls. So that was nice. And um, let's see, so that was dinner. Oh, I had to pick up my um, granddaughter from school today. Oh, see, I did miss one of those. Okay, I'll, go, I'll have to go back and fill that one in. And she has her learner's permit driving. And she goes, Grandma, can I drive home? What am I supposed to say? No, I mean, because she passed her driver's training class and, you know, I go, okay, you can drive my car. And she actually did, you know, really well. I could tell that she was nervous, but, but she did really good. But man, it's been a long time since I've had a student driver in my car. But she did real well. Yeah, we took her home and got to see her sisters, which was great too, my other granddaughters. And uh, I didn't get to stay too long, but I chatted a little bit with them. And because uh, I had to get home to get this whip and chat done. So we did that. And um, let's see. Maybe I will try to do a little bit of multi-placing here. Oh, I picked up three, that's all right. I've got um, a whole bunch of different new content for you guys. I've got some more Timu coming. I've got an awesome Coup Deals that's coming. So lots of, lots and lots of content. And I guess, um, you know, I wanted to do just a little reminder about my Facebook group, Diamonds by Tita. If you haven't been over to my Facebook group, um, pop on over there. I think we're approaching 900, I think. So you might want to just pop in. There's so much fun stuff. Crocheting and diamond painting and um, all kinds of different crafts. Like I said, with this painting, this is bliss. This is for blissful and blue. Um, 
any project that's going to have blue in it. Oops. I need to get a little bit more wax. This pen does not have my uh, nano tape in it. I need to take a minute to reload my pens with it. Um, let's see, what else is going on? Um, oh my goodness, I had to have uh, the bug guy come out and spray my around my house because in spring, man, the ants come out like crazy. I've had ants in the kitchen, not a lot. You know, there might be just a few, you know, but then I have to, you know, kill them and then I have to disinfect the counters and all of that. So, um, so he came out and, um, did that. So that's going to be good. Um, and the guy that cuts my grass came today. He's changing it to Wednesdays. So I had to hurry and pooper scoop. That's always a fun job, isn't it? It's always a fun job. Well, this is going pretty fast. Look at that. Have I gotten all the sevens? You're probably noticing them. Yep, there's one more, see? You were probably saying it's right there, huh? Well, I'm sure I probably missed another one, but I will get it. We put these away and we'll get another color. Um, did some laundry today. In fact, I, after this, I need to throw it in the in the dryer. We are going to do number three, which is here. It's brown. Now, I think I, I think I mentioned DMC codes um, with this, and Diamond Dots does not have DMC codes. Diamond Dots has their own color coding, but there is a conversion chart um, that you can get to convert their colors to DMCs. But I've had real good luck with Diamond Dots. I do like them. Oh, squirrel thought. Here we go. See? Stuff randomly pops into my head. Um, did you see on Facebook that um, Diamond Art Club they're selling some paintings on QVC. They're selling uh, bundles. It was a bundle of two paintings. There's some of their smaller ones. Um, but that was really cool. Now, I didn't get a chance to see it live on the air. But they have three different bundles, again, with two paintings in each. And I think they were, oh, don't hold me to this, but I think if I remember right, they were like $34. And I think shipping was like five, which I didn't think was too bad. Um, so yeah, go over to QVC and check it out. I thought that was really kind of neat. Um, oh, there's another three. Is there any more? Oh, I guess that's all of them. Um, so that is that. Uh, what else is, am I going to do? What other things can I talk about? Oh, my mind is going blank. That's not good. Mind is totally going blank. Maybe I can ask you guys some questions. Like, what are you working on? Let me know what your whip is that you're doing. 
So that would be one question for you guys. What whip, what whip are you doing? So I've got probably way too many whips. So I've got this one. I've got Twilight Flight by Dreamer Design. I have my big rainbow girl. I've got actually a Christmas painting that was started in December for my Christmas premiere that I'll be doing in Christmas in July. I've got another cat that I'm doing. It was a square drill, budget-friendly. Um, I've got that one. I've got, let's see, I've got a little fox that's kitted up, but I haven't started. Oh goodness, is that all? That's all that I can think of off the top of my head. I've got, I tell you, I've got way too many. Um, but I actually really like it. I'm having some fun. Um, I think I'm in a really, really good mood because I was able to finish War Pony. It's really hard when um, I don't have a finish. Um, I guess I just don't feel like I've like I have any sense of accomplishment, you know? Let me show you this one. Come on, let's go ahead and focus. Come on, let's focus. Can you focus? There we go. There we go, now we're focusing. It's actually like a really deep, deep purple. You can't probably see that. But it's like a really, really deep, deep purple. Um. I think that's why lately I've been working on um, some special drills. Do you guys like special drills? I really do. Um, they are, to me, they're just so much fun and they've got so much sparkle. And I can finish them in, you know, usually, you know, a couple hours maybe. Um, so it gives me a great sense of accomplishment. Um, boy, did I miss a lot of those. Goodness gracious. I can't believe I missed that many. Oh, well. I know you guys were screaming at me that I missed stuff, but that's kind of how it goes. But anyway, I really do. I like special drills. Um, I also like stickers. I got some Timu stickers. You probably saw them in my last Timu haul. Um, those were a lot of fun, or they will be a lot of fun. I haven't started them yet. Uh, my daughter, I can't wait to show that. I'll show you the finish. She, do you remember that colorful cat diamond art club that I unboxed? It's Larry's girlfriend. In fact, I need to do that. I've got it down to a couple names, and I think you guys need to need to vote on it. Um, I will probably put that in my community tab coming up. Um, but anyway. Um, my daughter has finished, well, almost finished it. She's really, really close, and it is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I can't wait to start working on the cat. I have so many that I want to do. I have so many, and I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time. Go ahead and put these away now. So yeah, Larry's girlfriend. Um, so many people gave such great names um, that I'm getting it narrowed down to just a couple. And then you guys can vote on, on the final one. And we'll have Larry and whatever her name is going to be. And then I can, I can work on, on, on her. And this is a beautiful blue too. Let me show you this one. It's really, really pretty. There we go. Birdie, 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 birdie. Um, so yeah, she's really, she's really gotten into diamond art, my daughter. She is just having so much fun with it. There we go, I'm doing that one. This 
So she'll have to come over and probably pick, a, pick out a couple more um, canvases to do. Because I've got more than enough that I can share with her. Okay, so the questions were, what whips do you have? Do you like special drills? I told you what I'm working on and I told you, yep, I love special drills. Um, I, you know, I like a lot of different styles of um, diamond paintings. Um, again, my favorite is a landscape um, and animals, whether it's cats or dogs. I think I've got a couple llamas, but I love animals. Um, I'm really getting into portraits as well from my friend Adrian at Diamonds Crafts and Crochet. Um, boy, look at all of those that I missed, guys. I've missed so many. Wow. I guess I really can't walk and chew bubble gum at the same time. That's all right. The only thing that I don't like, and I, and of course, anything with color. Give me anything super colorful. Um, I am happy with. I don't. I'm. I'm just. It's. You know, the dark arts are not my thing. If they're your thing, I mean, that's that's awesome. I'm glad that we all like different stuff because it would be super boring if we all like the same stuff. Um, but yeah, I am not a fan of the dark arts. And there's a lot of really popular paintings in the dark arts right now. Um, what else? Do you have a favorite brand of painting? Do you prefer budget friendly or do you like premium? Do you like both? Um, I mean, for me, um, I love Diamond Art Club, Dreamer Designs. I like Diamond Dots. I probably lean a little bit more heavily to the premium side, but I like my budget friendlies too. Okay, what else do I have? So anyway, so I, I do, I, I love Diamond Dots. Diamond Dots are, this is, these are such fun paintings. It's little, it's gonna go fast. It's got really good drills. Um, the, the drill field is really clear. I know that I'm missing some of these. I'm sure I'm missing them. Oh, well, okay. We're just going to move on. Okay. Um, I do. I enjoy, I really, really enjoy it. And I've got, and what I really like too, these are, um, Diamond Art Club, uh, release papers. Um, my favorite right now is the Diamond Art Club perforated cover sheet. Um, I really enjoy that, but since this didn't have that, I'll show you, their, their squares are little. They're just little four by four squares, um, but this is, for me anyway, this is the perfect size. I used to use five by five, um, they were parchment uh, patty papers, um, these squares that you put in between your hamburger patties when you make them. Um, but they were a little bit big. This is a perfect size for me. And then I used the four by six um, sheets too, and that was a little bit big. Um, I'm finding that having the smaller size, for me anyway, works really well. Um, I get a little bit more sense of accomplishment. Because if I can do like, I mean for me, because of my schedule, if I can do one square a day, um, I'm doing pretty good. Um, although on the weekends, um, you know, I can probably do maybe three, um, depending upon how much time, how much time I have. Um, let me see what we're gonna do. 15 is X. I'm gonna go back to a brown. If you can see that. I'll go to the X's. So, so I've got that. Um, 
What else is going on? My doggie's doing great. She uh, is actually kind of liking the backyard a little bit more now that um, it's getting a little warmer. So she goes out a little more often. I've got to give her a bath. She's kind of stinky right now. Um, but she's she's really easy to bathe because she's small. I just put her in the bathtub and give her a nice little bath. Um, and I need to get her nails cut. So I need to make an appointment with a groomer to get her nails cut. And then I tell you, I've got the... Do Maybe this is TMI, I don't know. Do you guys sleep with a night guard, you know, in your mouth to help you prevent from, like, clenching your teeth or grinding? Well, my dentist said that I needed a night guard, right? And I am struggling so much. He made one and never could get it fit, you know, right. So they re... Um, measured by mouth. They don't do impressions anymore. It, I think it's all a digital thing that they do. But I am just struggling with it. When I wear it in the morning, my jaw hurts worse with it. And it feels like my, my front teeth are hitting, you know, my bottom teeth. And I mean, I have gone in so many times for like adjustments. I think they need to just, um, you know, remake it. Um, it's really frustrating right now. Um, I normally don't complain about too much stuff and I try to go with the flow, but it's like, it's like, dude, I cannot wear this. It makes my jaw hurt. Um, so I'm gonna go in on Monday. I'm gonna go in on Monday and see what he says. Um, so I'm doing that. And I ordered some new glasses. Again, squirrel thought. Are you guys keeping up with all my squirrel thoughts? I'm kind of going in rapid fire, don't you think? I don't know, normally I don't talk this fast. So, um, yeah, hopefully you're keeping up with me. Um, I, um, yeah, I ordered some glasses. And I ordered them from Zenny Optical. That's online because they're so much cheaper. My brother gets really mad at me because he's a retired eye doctor and he gets really mad at me that I'm ordering them online. And I keep telling him, but I know they're made right because I can see. Obviously, if they weren't made right, I wouldn't be able to see. So, I mean, I've ordered several pairs from them. Um, but I had to get new ones and I ordered... Um, some crafting ones so that I can do my cross stitch. Oh, oh, that's what I gotta do. I gotta show you my cross stitch, hang on. Oh my gosh, I'm at 40 minutes. Okay, let me just show you the cross stitch so far. Again, I, ha I haven't gotten very far on it, but um, I'm really having fun with it. This is a printed, um, a printed cross stitch, because I used to do counted back in the day, um, and I really like the printed ones. Hang on a second. Let me let me grab it really fast. Hold on one second. Maybe I'll show you. What did I do with it? I laid it out to show you guys. Oh goodness. Hang on. I don't know what I did with it now. I'll show you what I am working on though. Maybe I can find it really fast. I am working on this landscape. What did I? I'm going to put you on pause for just a second, okay? Hang on. Okay, I'm back. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I set it off to the side. So anyway, that's what I'm working on. This came from GBFKE. It's a joy Sunday. And from what I've found from listening to a lot of... Um, Cross stitch channels. If you're going to do budget friendlies, Joy Sunday or Spring Brand are probably the two best to work with um, because they have more colors and um, they seem to be um, just a better canvas. So 
I'm gonna show you the back side so you can see what I'm doing. And it is kind of messy because I'm still learning, okay? So I have this corner done down here, and then I've got this part of the sky done. So again, I don't have a lot, but considering everything I'm doing, I'm really happy with it. So I'll show you really quick, show you really, really quick. Um, here is, get you in there, there's the corner. It has a lot of confetti in it. Um, and confetti in a cross stitch is much harder to do than confetti in a diamond painting because you have to stop and start the, um, the colors. But I've watched a lot of um, cross stitch channels that have given me a lot of great hints on how to work with the confetti. So that's where I'm at here. Um, hopefully I can get these flowers done. But that was kind of driving me crazy for a little bit. So I moved up into the sky up through here. And so I've got all of that done. And I've got a little bit of this pink here done. Um, so again, it's not a lot, but um, I'm really happy that, you know, I'm, I'm doing it. Um, technically, I could probably call that for blissful and blue because there is blue in it. But I'm really proud that I'm doing it. So that's where I'm at, guys. Um, I Let me bring you back in a little bit more. Get back over here. And this is... Basically, this is what we did tonight. Again, this is a longer whip and chat. Um, I hope I didn't bore you too much. I hope I didn't do too fast a to squirrel thoughts. I hope I kept you company. Hope you enjoyed your cup of coffee or your cup of tea. Um, remember, you're perfect exactly as you are. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. Do one thing today that your future self is going to thank you for. And um, I will see you on the next one. So take care, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.